Hello, my name is John Bustard and this presentation is about the innovation imperative in smart cities and smart tourism and it's a call for collaboration towards building and sharing knowledge of patterns of success and sustainable living and climate renewal and my co-author is Dr Igor Calzada. So in 2021 is news good for you? Well I would argue yes it is. Um, you know we're, we're seeing articles like Tom Heaps here in the BBC much more hopeful about the environment in 2021. Why? Because some of the technologies that we're coming up with now um, will significantly reduce the need for the more damaging fuels that we're using. This example here of this super solar tile, um, 30 to 40 percent more efficient than current um, uh, versions and, you know, much smaller. So, so many more powerful, impactful technologies coming on the scene. Uh, and it's really those technologies within the context of smart cities and smart tourisms that we're interested in. So when we look at the literature, we can see that efficiency and sustainability are critical drivers of the smart city movement as Gretzel highlighted in 2015 and demonstrating sustainability over an extended time frame is important as Buhalis slides in 2013. Um, but experimentation, um, you know, to develop and shift the focus of sustainability from distant targets and government policy to more concrete and feasible actions are, are where really we need to be moving to as Calzada highlights in 2018. Um, look, we look at this sort of um, sustainable economic advancement within the smart uh, city, smart tourism perspective. Uh, this corporatized view, you know, obviously can see the critical touch points of sustainable transportation, water management, social responsibility and so forth. I'll be spoke, focusing mostly on sustainable transportation here, but, you know, we need to really engage uh, the key people in the middle, um, the visitors and the citizens or the citizeners as I would like to qualify them now, because these are people that are active and considered in their approaches uh, on their footprint going forward, I think, in terms of sustainability. So citizeners exist in this environmental pressures of climate change, uh, of uh, sustainability challenges and so forth, pressing in on them. And just like us, you know, we all exist in this sort of pentahelix here. Um, and what we like about this is obviously we have academics, public, private, civic society more generally, but, you know, maybe driving this change might be these social entrepreneurs, activists, bricklers, brokers, assemblers, people that can really energize that uh, people led change. So, um, I'm going to focus this on a Belfast story, give you some sort of an example of a citizeners kind of experience of the city. Um, you know, obviously we're famous for lots of things, uh, one being our wonderful Titanic visitor attraction. And this is from the AR360 platform, um, a, an AR experience of Titanic down on the uh, Thompson Dock actually in Belfast. But I'm going to go beyond that to some other um, aspects of Belfast. Um, the AR360 Smart City Tourism Platform is designed by Yellow Design. Really interesting platform. It's an ecosystem really of experiences. It, it operates along an arterial transport route called the Glider Route. And, you know, its opportunity is to network citizens, visitors alike to, you know, explore the city in new and unique ways and offer them, you know, all of these great uh, experiences that they can have as well as part of that. Um, so here's an example where you could get off in West Belfast and go and visit the International Peace Walls. Um, so, you know, the Peace Walls are contentious, you know, in one level, but, you know, the actual story of them is being told really interestingly by both sides now. And it's that that I'm interested in and I'm sure uh, offers opportunities from a community and civic perspective. So here we can see an example of how a tourist will explore that. You know, they get off um, the glider, they'll scan for information and that will trigger their AR to, um, you know, uh, highlight where they need to go. Um, and the phone will obviously take them on a walk to the actual location, reducing all the need for signage for, you know, over the top kind of visitor attraction stuff um, and really, you know, reducing the impact and the imprint. So you can see that um, the AR panels will just automatically come out. Good evening. And be Here's an illustrated summary of the news. The, the latest film really of events and happenings the, here at home um, in Northern so, Ireland. So moving Dur forward, um, beyond that, um, my question really is, could contested spaces fuel smart innovation? That's one area of interest for me. Um, and obviously that's uh, a, a, a kind of a very niche and narrow topic. For us, though, uh, when we're talking about this at, uh, at Enter Conference, hopefully we'll talk about, you know, creating understanding of the wider implications of sustainability and sharing practice. Thank you for your time.